Hello everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for Make Paper Art. Today I am using this cut file here, which is the Funky Floral. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I cut it out of some red shimmery paper from the cardstock warehouse. Um, it's called Jupiter. And I decided to make them... So this cut file, uh, for what I've seen other people using it, is like a very, you know, springtime or summertime kind of floral. And I decided to make it into kind of more of a winter, I guess, holiday type floral. And I figured by cutting it out in red, it kind of mimics like a um, poinsettia flower or something like that. And it just made me feel you know, like it was more Christmassy or holiday inspired. Now these pictures are not from Christmas. These are from a Girl Scout dance that my husband took my daughter to. It's called the Me and My Guy dance and it's in February, but I figured that didn't really matter. I'm not putting anything like super Christmassy on this layout, so I figured it worked really well since they're both wearing red in the picture. So in, on the background of the paper, I did do some messy stitching um, I, in some gold thread. I just went around the paper a bunch of times um, and created just kind of somewhere for this wreath to, to sit on. And then I also have this title cut out from the same red shimmery paper. And it just says, Let's Party. And so I'm going to kind of stack it on top of itself here in the middle. And then <clears throat> you can see there that I have all of these die cuts. Now these are, I believe they're all from Sweater Weather. And I bought um, on American Crafts, or it's AC Digitals. You can buy digital collections and then print them out yourself. <clears throat> and so I decided to buy Sweater Weather and I think Snow and Cocoa. I have quite a few of the collections and then I can just print out um, the embellishments as I need them and I can resize them to what I want and then I can use my silhouette and cut them out. So I cut out a bunch of these florals because they the red color went really well. And I just cut them out on the same cardstock that I'm using as my background so that the white um, outline would blend in and I really love how this turns out. So I'm just working on layering these around a little bit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sorry. I am like fighting something right now and yeah so I'm just going to apologize for the clearing of the throat and everything. So the two photos, one is of them, a nice photo of them, and then the other one is them, um, what we call our smile hard for granny face. Um, it was something that was from my husband's childhood. He has this picture where he's like smiling super like big and hard, I guess, um, and that they had told him to smile hard for granny for this picture. And so that's what we call this face. It's like where you're showing teeth and you got like a big fake smile on. They're not very great quality pictures because they were taken with like a crappy camera and the lighting was bad. But I really like how they turned out on this layout. So I have two of these tags here and I'm going to just add some journaling over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm just going to work on gluing everything down. So now everything is glued down and I am trying to decide what I wanted to do with my photos. I was thinking about backing them with some paper, but there's not really a lot of room and I didn't want to cover up any of the flowers or the die cuts so I'm just going to pop it up on some bum foam here and then I'm going to put some gold thread behind it and I'm just going to like make a big tangled mess and just I just want the thread to poke out around the photo in a couple of spots so I'm going to fuss with that for a little bit and this is the metallic like upholstery thread I think or something like that and it's pretty thick and it doesn't uh, 
it doesn't like to listen to what you tell it to do. It wants to do its own thing. So eventually you just got to kind of go with it. Now I'm just going to stick down my photos. And then I'm going to add my journaling. And it just talks about how they were super excited about their first, you know, me and my guy dance. And, <clears throat> and those two, those two, um, Little tabs look crooked to me, and they're still crooked, but whatever. I just leave it. It's fine. It doesn't bother me all that much. So, And then the last thing I'm going to add is some Spiegel Mom Scrap sequins. I just pull out some black ones um, because there's black in the picture, so I wanted to add some around. And then I do add the date to this one. And that's pretty much going to be my layout. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget you can use my code DAISY10 for 10% off in the shop. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The uh, design team for this term is going to be coming up at the end of December. So I only have one more layout coming out and then um, I will be finished. But you can use my code like I said. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the cut files. I really loved working with this one. It was perfect for what I wanted it to do. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.